export of our surplus energy from Nepal needs to be on the table, I wish to highlight four sectors that can consume electricity heavily and increase our per capita consumption. This will also mitigate our dependency on imported fossil fuels and huge trade deficit. The first is agriculture. While over 65% of Nepalese are engaged in agriculture, it contributes less than a quarter of our GDP and has a huge potential for growth. This growth potential should be powered with green energy. The second is industries that still rely on diesel and coal as well as biomass that pollute our environment. The government of Nepal will work to ensure that industries across Nepal have access to green energy priced at competitive rates. The third sector is cooking. If we can get all Nepalese to cook with green energy, it will contribute to protecting our forest and also greatly reduce our dependence on imported LPG. The fourth and most critical area is transportation. The import of vehicles, many may continue, but we can make a transition to electric modes of transport so that our import of fossil fuels declines and this contributes to mitigate the average adverse impacts of climate change. I understand all these issues will be discussed during the power summit. Taking advantage of this Power Summit 2023, I would like to invite IPAN to join hands with the government and work together, come up with a clear demand development policy that can help broaden the market for Nepal's green energy. Following the historical political change that have taken place in Nepal, the aspiration to see large-scale economic development has also risen among the people of Nepal. The government of Nepal recognized the energy sector as the one that can lead us to developing a strong base for prosperity. Green energy will be both a means and also a product that will enable Nepal to make the transition to a strong economy. Nepal has been at the forefront in its efforts to conserve our rich biodiversity heritage and a signatory to all the treaties related to the global response to climate change. In Nepal, we have a very clear opportunity to attain our goal of becoming net zero by 2045. Given that we are endowed with the enormous hydro and solar power potential, we can not only fulfill our international commitment of transition to clean energy, but also can support our neighboring countries to meet their emission reduction target by exporting our electricity.